Today we're reviewing Terraforming Mars by Stronghold Games. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. Terraforming Mars is a one to five player hand and resource manager where players take on the role of giant corporations and work together to make the red planet livable for us lowly humans. While at the same time trying to screw each other over so you have more points than the other guy. And it's pretty freaking awesome. But I gotta admit, as much as I like Terraforming Mars, I was a bit hesitant the first time I saw it. I mean, it's not the prettiest game. What's the word for it? It looks kind of, um, blah. It kind of reminds me of something your grade school science teacher will pull out to trick you into learning something. And the cards, although a unique piece of artwork unto themselves, look more like the result of a Google image search. But looks aside, I always have a good time playing. There's such a sense of accomplishment when you get your resource engine going. Produce resources, use those resources to produce more technology, and then use that technology to produce more resources. So good. The game plays on the premise of generations. I'll accomplish as much as I can in my lifespan so that future generations can build on that and work toward our ultimate goal, terraforming Mars. Now, as much as I'm not a fan of the art on the cards, I must admit, they play really well into the theme. The game has over 200 unique cards, so I get it. I'm not expecting beautifully hand-painted images for each one. And admittedly, short of that, I do believe that a collection of web-sourced images was probably the best way to go. And once you get into the terraforming groove, you begin to overlook their aesthetic inconsistencies and begin to accept and even appreciate their individuality. A big part of terraforming Mars involves hand-building, not deck-building, since players don't actually have a deck to build. Building your hand, or managing your hand, involves players picking up four cards at a time and paying three credits for each card they want to keep. The rest, they toss. These cards you draw are patents in order to put your projects into effect. In order to change the face of Mars, forever. And more often than not, you're going to want most, if not all, the cards you're shown. But you're going to have to make the call. Do I spend all my credits now and accomplish very little this generation? Or worse, nothing? Or buy nothing and risk throwing away that card I didn't even know I needed yet. There's just so many decisions and every decision matters. Even if you don't know it yet, it does. I mean, and that's what Terraforming Mars is. It's a game of making decisions. You're the head of the corporations and you've got the hard choices to make. And if you don't make the right choices, you're gonna lose. So what's my final verdict? If you're a new player looking to break into the board game world, I'd start with something a little lighter. But if you're looking for a strategic competitive game that makes you think, then Terraforming Mars is a must have. It's definitely made a place for itself in my favorite games list. Hence, we're awarding it the title of Premium Blend Gaming, the highest of praise that Board Game Coffee has to offer. So if you don't already have it, go buy it. Now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social.